What's going on, everybody? Hunt for the Good Stuff, episode two. This week, we're talking a space called Lagniap, or Lagniap, or probably a different way of pronouncing it. Uh, either way, what you really gotta know, good food. You got cheese boards, you got charcuterie, you got nice bread, you got wine, you got beer, outdoor seating. There's too much to explain. Let me just show you. For right now, I'm driving, so I gotta go. The G is silent. Would have known. We're learning stuff every single day. Are you feeling it? Me too. Can anybody tell me the definition of lining up? Anybody? Something giving as a bonus or extra gift. I feel all warm and tingly inside. Ugh. So Laniap is in the design district of Miami, roughly between 36th and 44th Street, uh, closer to Biscayne Bay. So what is Laniap? Laniap is like a New Orleans style wine bar. It's awesome because the, the courtyard, it's huge, huge. It's got different chairs, seats. Uh, and when I say different chairs and seats, I mean different chairs and seats. I couldn't even count all the different things that were going on over there. And it's cool because it kind of gives it its own little vibe and personality. If you were driving around it, you might miss it. But once you get into that courtyard, you know exactly where you're at. Some people have conversations about where they've been in Europe. And a lot of people compare it to, you know, south of France, where there's all these new bustling businesses going on. And they have a, a younger crowd kind of trying to bring in a little bit more of that traffic. And they basically just need to figure out how they're gonna start up a business. So everything right down to like, the chairs and the tables uh, pretty much get from anybody that you know. Hey, throw me some extra chairs, throw me an extra table, and nothing matches, but nobody cares because at the end of the day, the food's good, the space is great, it's got an awesome vibe, and then boom, you got more business coming in. I think it's a brilliant idea, and I think it's brilliant that they're starting to bring that concept over here to Miami. You in the mood for a drink? Of course you are. As far as the beer category is concerned, Pretty much everything that you're looking for. They have IPAs, they have Pilsners, they have Belgian style ales. Uh, some of the big names that you're looking for. Uh, IPAs, I like uh, Beer Republic's Racer 5, they have that. Hitachino Nest, that's one of my personal favorites. Uh, the White Ale, the Red Ale, they got all these other exotics with like Yuzu in it and such. They have uh, Trappist Roquefort uh, 10, if you like, the big boys. And pretty much everything in between. Not in the mood for a beer? No problem. La Niap's got you. You in the mood for some wine, right? Okay. So, just go to the racks. Inside, they have all the stuff that you're looking for. They have the red wines racked up from Chile, Australia, France, Italy. You just pick what you need. If you want something cold, then you just go over to the fridge. You grab yourself a bottle of maybe rosé, a little bit of bubbles if that's your thing. Uh, if you just want a glass or something, or maybe just somebody in the group doesn't want to, you know, split a bottle with you, you just grab yourself uh, one glass over at the counter. All right, so I'm going to give you the deets on how to get some food in you. You got to get some charcuterie. You got a bottle of wine, it just makes sense. So you go inside, they got a little fridge over there, and you basically pick what you need. You want some prosciutto? Check. You want some Genoa salami? Check. You want some triple cream cheese? Double check. I don't even know what's going on anymore. It gets me so wild. Blue cheese, prima donna, bread, fig spread, all this good stuff. Some olives at the end. I don't know, just throw it on there, I'm gonna eat it. It's just a fun place when all said and done. You could go over there, you don't really have to be dressed up. You actually, you don't have to be dressed up. You shouldn't be dressed up. You should just be able to hang out, have a good time. Um, it's an outdoor space, so you got people enjoying cigarettes, if that's your thing. You got people just kind of having their own conversations, mingling with other people. They have like all this abuelita stuff all over the place. So all these antiques, and, you know, all these like frames that you think you would see in your like grandma's house. And they, it just keeps coming. It's scattered all throughout the place. It just gives it so much personality and so much depth that it was worth saying. Okay, everybody, I gotta go. I know, I know. I'll be back next week though. Be something fun, be something new, be something different. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and tune in next week. 
Wait a second, I almost forgot. You keep watching, I'll keep hunting. See you soon.